In the previous episode, we waited out bad weather, got our vaccines, and did small projects to prep the boat. Okay, I'm gearing up. It is super cold out there, but it's an exciting day. We're getting the cover taken off, getting the bimini fitted, and we have a diver coming to do the bottom of the boat, put on new zinc, and we're putting stuff on the top deck because it's still snowing. This is awesome. Okay, so we've got our canvas lady on doing bimini work, and we've got the um, cover being taken off. So, a lot of work we gotta clean up, but <laughs> it's nice to have it done. So, the whole backside is now open. Over to the main mast. Our canvas lady's working on the bimini. You should see inside there a little. Nice. And the diver should be down here probably any minute, actually. He's going to replace our zincs and um, check the bottom, see how it did over the winter, just being in the water. Feels good to get this done. Let's see. Ah, still a little nervous it's still going to be snowing, but we can start doing other deck work that needs to be done now. Although it was nice to have the cover on. Okay, the diver's here, and the cover is off. We're good. Deep. What? It's clean. Wow. That's impossible. I mean, it's, I mean, yeah, there's some there's some stuff on it, but it's, you'll see the video. You just do that. It, and it wipes right off? Yeah. Okay, how's the zincs look? Oh, the zincs aren't bad. I can go ahead and change them. Last night we thought our bimini was going to be enclosed and then it wasn't and so we had snow piling up against the door and water coming in so Austin did a quick fix and taped the door up. It stopped it. It stopped the wind coming through and the Hold water on. coming through. I learned this trick from Minnie Denison. <laughs> oh, we really? We some leaks sometimes in the cabins and she'd tape around the window hatch and it would solve it. Yeah, so temporary quick fixes. Now we got to get out of the door because we desperately need showers. <laughs> we'll see what it looks like outside. Yes. It was a bit of a rough night. It was pretty stormy. Oh, it's just really wet out there. But thankfully, there's not a pile of snow out there. Waiting for the showers to open. Still getting it fitted, but hopefully we'll have it on before the next snowstorm. Last night was pretty miserable. So let's put those babies on. One there, two there.
So we finally have the chain out. It's a nice enough day. We're just milking it, so maybe have a couple more hours of good weather. We'll see. <laughs> Anyways, mark it really quick, and that way, as soon as we get another nice day, we can start working on the chain locker. The windlass, we need to maintenance the old chain and put in the new chain. So the Gemini lady's coming today. We have the welder coming today. Uh, I throw away the garbage from the cover. Um, we're working on the chain. Yep. And trying to dry things off on the boat. We got it painted. Hopefully it'll dry up. We can do one more coat. Okay, just made it to the post office in our taxi. Well, Petersburg taxi. Yay, we got mail. Actually, it's kind of fun when you get a package. So, I had to get back on board and see what else I can do to help. We still have some sunny weather. It actually was raining when I left for the post office. And now it is sunny again, so... Loving it. Austin got his Belletti in the mail today so he can make his espresso. He's super excited. Hold on, I gotta show him the coffee too. Oh, yes, this is, this is excitement right there. Bustello. I think I'm saying it right. Bustello, is that right? I don't know. It's up to Tony. Thank you, Tony! Yep. See that? Yep. We've had these before. This is just a different style of it because it's for gas stove. Then what you do is you chop up some orange peels. <laughs> no. <laughs> what you do, this is your cup. Or, yeah, no. <laughs> Thank you for throwing away my garbage, though. What you guys doing? Taking a little clip of Dad's espresso. Okay. Now Austin's gonna get super excited. He loves the espresso. <laughs> and this is how we froth the milk on a boat. Well on our boat. Show them how it's done, honey. <laughs> Come, on. Come in for a tight shot. Okay, here we go. Oh. Perfect. Yum. still even steaming look at that <laughs> all right it's gonna be hot <laughs> now to wait oh it's gonna be <laughs> just in case anyone did not already know this austin does not have much patience <laughs> I'm betting on the fact he's going to burn himself here because he's too tempted to have a sip. <laughs> so how is it? How is... Tonight it was storming a bit. So we were rocking and rolling. Um, the other one was howling. So I have two puppies that have snuggled in with me. Now I can't get out. I've got, uh, yep, Milo's on this corner. Yes. And Patches is on that corner. 
then I can't move. So I get them excited to get up. We'll see how that works. Because it just left me for a cup of coffee. Oh, oh yay. Badges. Badges. Okay. Hey, me now. Yes. Happy 11 in the morning. That's how it works. Oh, oh dear Gussie. Oh, happy smothering in the morning. No, not puppy buds in the morning. Last time I did it from the team. Progress. Oh. Nice to have one that works. So we just went to Piston and Rudder and then stopped by the library. Now we're walking the slough. We see Hammer Slough. Very cool. Everybody's a little chilly this morning. No one wants to get out of bed. Austin's still covered up in blankies. I didn't get out of bed for a long time. He's gonna shake. Woof. Hey. Good morning. Yummy.
Is that the best one? Definitely the best coffee or brew. Besides the other Bloody, which which Bloody do you like better? The one that's on the stove? That's a Bloody French press. Bloody? Bloody. Oh, you mean Bloody. This Bloody over this Bloody for stronger coffee. But for just a morning cup of coffee, this is good. To completely wake you up, this espresso style is better, but you have to have finer grind. Yeah, okay. Okay, black, black. <laughs> he likes his coffee super dark. Yes, now he's happy. He's got the strongest cup of coffee. I'm done making cups of coffee now this morning. <laughs> Here's to you, Glenn Schrock. We've got one nice day on the anchor light. So much better. This is what we're hoping to fix, all the tangles. It just keeps doing this. that pin. Okay. okay. This one is below it. So we got two, two to replace. Top, bottom. Top and bottom. Okay. Yeah. We have to run to the store and buy some stuff. So we're just holding it in while he bolts up the four bolts. And then we're putting the top back together. But we had to pull it down so we could fill up the gear gearbox grease. Sunny day for a while, so 
just get me the new anchor chain on, uh, maintenance the windmills, put on a new chain wheel. Now Austin's doing the last step, hooking up anchor to the chain. <sighs> it's a rock and roll. Yeah, storm is moving back in. We had a little bit of sunshine. Feels nice out here, but it's getting cold. Okay, you guys, I got this. When this main commenced, we have the new chain in, the new chain wheel in. I don't even know how long it took us, but it didn't take us that long, so maybe a couple hours just didn't have all the stuff that we needed out at the same time, but otherwise it probably would have only taken maybe half an hour to an hour. It was pretty quick, actually, once we got what we needed, so it feels good to have it done. Now is the numbers changing? Yes! Perfect! Okay, I think it's like 4.30 in the morning and Elise and I are unhooking from AC power. Now it's like 20 degrees today. Good job, Elise! In the next episode, we finalize last minute projects and take our first trip out, visiting Snug Cove and Taku Harbor on our way to Juneau.